Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day today. For whatever reason, my voice will not recover, okay? I just have a deeper voice now, but it's also crackly. It's just my life. I don't... <laughs> Don't scream too much, you guys, seriously. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm just doing a favorites video. I thought I would share with you some of my favorite products that I've been using lately. I just wanted to sit down and talk about some like good shit, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share with you the stuff I've been loving, the things I've been into, and I hope you guys enjoy that. I would love to know also in the comments what you guys have been loving. I love getting recommendations from you and just kind of hearing what you guys are into. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna start off with makeup and I just, this is like an overall category, but Natasha Denona stuff and like eyeshadows, I just have been loving in the last couple of months. I've been maybe embracing this this idea of luxury makeup in a different way than I ever have in my life before. And so that's like a thing, I guess, but also it's like luxury, but small. And I've been liking that. Like I don't want a massive luxury palette. I want like small little quads, quins, that type of stuff. So I have to bring up this self-made palette that I did. I have a video on it if you wanna watch it. I'll leave it linked down below. But these are shadows from the two bigger palettes. I know I just said no big ones, but I broke them down into quints that were inspired by different color stories and ideas and whatnot. But I did that because I don't use the big palettes on their own as much. Like I'm inspired by a set of constraints when it comes to a color story, when it comes to a palette. I think lately I've felt a bit of like decision fatigue. So when there's only so much in front of me, there's only so much that I can do and then I have to get creative with those boundaries, you know? I've really enjoyed this palette as a whole, but specifically this shade over here, it's the shade color is called Skin. I've been using that for a one shadow look literally like most of the last two months. <laughs> if I do my makeup, which I'm not always doing my makeup every single day, but when I do, I would say like at least half the time I put this on my eyes as the only thing and I've loved it. I felt so pretty, I felt beautiful. It's light enough for like every day, but I also felt like still really good if I'm going out at night or something, maybe add a little bit of a darker color on the outer corner, but love, love, love this shade. It's like a little more than a satin, but it's not like a metallic, it's just beautiful, you guys. Easy, fast, I feel put together, I feel beautiful, and I've been obsessed with it. And the quality of the shadow has just been just nice. The shadows are so good. I've been staying at places more like two days, like, you know, having like little overnight things, two nights here, two nights there. And so I've really been kind of living out of a makeup bag. So I've also been enjoying the mini palettes, which, spoiler, I got two more. But this is the mini glam. I've had this one for about a year or more now, yeah, more than a year, like a year and a half. I got it for my birthday in 2020. So this is what that one looks like. I really like bringing this one along because it has that deep matte shade if I want it. It also does have like a nice golden color, which is good for the inner corner. I love this bronze as like maybe something a little bit darker than the last shade I just talked about all over the lid. So this one's been great. And then I finally just bit the bullet because I've been enjoying those so much and got the two mini palettes that I've been wanting from Natasha. Denona. I got the mini retro and I am obsessed with this shade here. It's so pretty. It has like this chunky flakiness to it. I love using it on the brow bone, the inner corner, and even like tapped as like a highlighter. I think it's beautiful. And I also have really been enjoying this shade here, which I technically have. This is vintage taupe and I really don't love like all matte looks, but that shade always tempts me to like not do any more. Like don't put a shimmer on, just do the matte. And I haven't had that feeling in a while. So loving this. And then I did get the mini Zendo palette as well. So, so pretty. I love this like outer terracotta shade to deepen some stuff up. I'm just, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with these purchases. I love how small they are. They're $25 a piece, which is a lot of money, I guess, for a small thing, but also, when you're looking at Natasha Denona as a whole, you know, the big palettes are $65. They're definitely more affordable than that. And if you can find a color story that works for you, you get the quality, you get the experience. I feel like they're just so nice and petite. Like, I'm just, I'm really into these. So, and I thought I would also just mention while we're talking about Natasha Denona that I did pick up this glow highlighter during a BoxyCharm sale or something. It was like $9. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it as much as the Super Glow. This is just the glow. I have the super glow in number two, but I am happy to report back that I really actually like this. 
as much as the super glow they're different this one isn't as much of like a, a glossy finish um, like that kind of gel -like glassy you know what I mean I don't know high 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 shine this one's a little bit more of a softer glow but still there I still get a nice glow from it I still satisfy you know what I want when it comes to glowing but yeah I'm just really happy with that that I, I liked it because in between getting the super glow and getting this I bought the like holiday I need a nude glow and I did not enjoy that so I'm um, happy to report back really like this next for makeup I want to mention another product that I've been using quite a bit and these are the dazzle sticks from KVD beauty I saw some type of freaking ad I swear KVD owes all of its like resurgence to TikTok and like Instagram ads but I saw someone using one of them and just swipe it on and it looked so sparkly and beautiful and you guys know I love a sparkle I'm like down to you know check a sparkle out and so when I went to check it everything was sold out except for really this color and so I got the shade electro bolt at first I was like whatever not maybe my first pick but I'll get it anyway um this one is beautiful <laughs> this is a really beautiful like golden with a red base like duochromatic shade that almost has like a blue like cool tone sparkle to it also stunning so happy I picked this up when I got it in the mail I was like oh my Psh. I made the right choice. Fate made me make the right choice. So I was very, very happy with that. I've been using it as like a one shadow look. Sometimes I'll lay down like a matte shade in the crease or outer corner. Sometimes I won't. Sometimes I'll just put this on. This does dry down, which is nice. So I don't find that it creases kind of like how the Rowan shadows can crease. And I just think it's so cool. If you want more of like a light sparkly look and you really want to show those pieces of sparkle, you can put less on. If you want to build up and have more of that opacity and not show the kind of sheerness and the sparkle then you can do that too they almost have like a cooling feeling to them as well now I don't tend to like actually like apply it on my eye like that you can they're soft enough to do that I tend to just use my finger and tap and I'll keep tapping to get the opacity that I desire so loving that it made me go pick up two more again it's been tough to get the two that I really want there's like this really beautiful champagne and then there's kind of this more taupey color I want both of those still but these two I did pick up this one is the shade thundercloud and it's like a silver and I actually swatched these in store before I bought them which I'm very happy that I did the thundercloud one is a silver but it does have like almost a bit of like a pink something going on like it's not this just silver you know there's something more happening with it which I really enjoyed and then I also picked up the shade force field so it's like golden but berry I think this one's gonna be so pretty for fall one that was in stock and I decided not to pick up from swatching in store was like a bronze but there was it was just bronze like there was nothing special about it there wasn't like a dual chrome there wasn't as much like sparkle in it so I left that one there I said no you're not coming home. You're not special enough. So um, yeah, I've been really into these. I definitely want to hopefully when the other ones get back in stock, I'd probably want to hopefully swatch them because then that will really help me. But I feel like color wise, those other two are really on my alley and I'm just really, really happy with these. I love that they can be one shadow looks. That has been something I've been into again when I'm doing my makeup. I'm either gonna go full on carnival uh, makeup, which I will or do have a video on this look if you wanna check that out. It's like my take on the Pat McGrath <laughs> Utopian Dreams palette or the promo and fantasy of that. But anyway, I've been really into like simple looks, one shadow looks, even if it's sparkly duochrome, really one shadow, two shadows. I mean, that's been the trend all year for me really, but even more so I would say it continues unless I'm like trying to use a lot of colors or heavily inspired by something. These kind of fit into, they're fun, they're sparkly, they're easy though, and they work well for that one shadow type look. Maybe not the silver as much. I wouldn't probably do a full on like only silver shadow look. It's a little galactic for me, but it could look cool actually. I don't know, it could work. <laughs> Next on my list, this is a concealer from Kosas and I've really just been enjoying it so I thought I would you know give it a shout out. I use the shade 01 and I really haven't liked a concealer as much as I liked this one since my Glossier Stretch. That's been like the concealer that I went through so much of and I haven't been using that much because this is just so easy of you know putting the wand on and whatnot. I will say I think maybe for winter I might want to go down a shade which I think 0.5 is their lightest shade so we'll see about that but yeah really been enjoying the consistency of this 
I feel like it gives nice coverage, but not too much. I use this in that new way that we all do concealer now where you kind of put a little bit here in the inner corner and then a little bit here for that lift. And I've really enjoyed it. It has a little creasing, but I mean, I just kind of accept that a little bit. I don't know if I should or not, but I know that with some people's eyes, when I used to do makeup, some people's eyes just crease. Sometimes little wrinkles under your eyes, like they just love to <laughs> take that product up, you know? So I just try to be kind of cautious of that as I'm doing my makeup. So when I first put it on and then maybe I do my brows and after I do my brows, I just tap out that product. Maybe I take my sponge and kind of go over it and kind of soak up what doesn't need to be there, what excess product doesn't need to be on my skin. And usually if I do that twice, like, so maybe I do that and then I finish doing all my makeup, I can go in and I usually won't have any more after that, like when I'm throughout the day. But that is the same with my Glossier, with really anything. Like my eyes, I have this little tiny crease that just always, you know, kind of <laughs> sinks up that product into it. And then I'm like, oh, and I tap it out. It's not a big deal. And for me, I'd rather have a nice creamy concealer, like a, a good texture on a concealer than something that like, once you put it down it dries in place because I just find that those look sometimes for me less realistic on my skin um, and I also find that as they wear throughout the day they can become patchier because they are like so so decided to cling to this one area which can be great if you don't want creasing but if something goes wrong if you start sweating if you accidentally rub your face or whatever one area is like completely effed now but because this doesn't budge you can't like just tap out I don't find that those types of products on me wear gracefully throughout the day when I'm not really wanting to have extra product to touch up with and maybe I'm not doing a full face type thing. All I wanted to say was that I have been enjoying this and it's been nice to finally find a concealer that I actually like because I've been switching up kind of my old favorites as I've either used them up or they've gotten old and um, finding, you know, some new things that truly are kind of the go-to products for me has been a little difficult, but this one, I've been bringing just this as my concealer with me, right? When I have nothing else, I'm leaving my whole collection here and I feel confident that I can do what I need to do. Okay, I think this is the last makeup stuff, but I really mostly wanted to mention this Rowan lip gloss. You guys, it's so good. It just doesn't, leave the ring like other lip glosses like it really doesn't and I'm just thoroughly impressed by that alone but this is the shade let's see Charlie from Rowan beautiful packaging I really love that about it it has a minty smell so I want to point that out because I know not everyone will like that this color is really really beautiful for me it's like a perfect my lips be better when I put it on I can barely tell it's there it just does enough to like finish the look and that's what I want like this is me reapplying it you guys where is it but in a good way, not in a like, wait, where is it? It's good, it's so good, you guys. This feels plush on the lips and I really like the finish. It's not super shiny. It's not that like glossy pouty look. That's beautiful, I do like that, but realistically, like I'm a no fuss girl, really. And I don't always love a high, high, high shine finish on my lip products, so this is so great. It feels like a true, Balm. It, it feels like a balm is on my lips. I'm in love with this. I like want every shade of this. I don't know if I've heard that many people talk about this. Like it's so good. If you guys like the Tower 22, or I think that's what it is, whatever, that gloss and cashew that smells like blood. <laughs> I don't think mine smells exactly like blood, but I don't like the way that it smells. Okay, anyway, if you like that, I say try this. I say try it. Again, it's minty though, so if you don't like mint, you're out of here. I'm sorry, but I really love it. It has a little tingle. So good. Wears so nicely. Again, another product that I feel like just gracefully wears off your lips. And so I highly suggest these. I got mine on a crazy good deal. Again, I think from BoxyCharm or something, I think I spent like nine on it, but I would pay the full price. Like knowing what I know, cause I've tried it. Beautiful. These are the things that I love. Like when I can get something for so cheap through a sale or whatever, maybe I wouldn't have bought this, right? Maybe I wouldn't have bought this full price, but since I got the deal on it, I did buy it. I tried it and I'm like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking not buying this before? What was I thinking? So anyway, I know I'm raving about a lip gloss a lot, but I'm just telling you guys, truly, this is my purse gloss. It's been designated as the purse gloss that I can just put on. It's so easy. I've been noticing, here's another tangent, but I've been noticing that when I put on a lip product in my house in, I don't know, wherever, inside, 
okay? Not outside. Like, I can do this full lip and I feel like, oh man, I'm so sexy. I get outside, I look in the mirror, and I just hate when I can see the lip line. I hate when the lips look like heavy, full of color. They don't look natural. I love just like this naturally beautiful lip. And this is the secret product for that. So anyway, obsessed with it, obviously you can tell, okay? And I just wanna share it more than anything because if you're someone like me, I think you'll like it. I really think you'll like it. It just feels good. I like it. Okay, anyway, that being said, I thought I would just share, I've been using the Rowan Quad a lot too. I'm not gonna talk about this too long because I feel like I just mentioned it in a more recent video, but this is the 1111 one, and I really like the colors of this. It's a fun one to add just, you know, over stuff when I'm on the go or whatever, and I don't wanna bring a lot of sparkles. This has that in there. You can do them alone. I can do a look and then just kind of like add something on top. Sometimes I just like to <laughs> keep it going. These do crease though, so warning, they crease. I'm not using the best primer at the moment. I'm just trying to use up my MAC Paint Pot, which creases on me on its own, but these do crease on me and I just tap them out. But if you don't like creasing, something to consider. I really wanna get the, I think it's Forever Mood one. Oh, I think I'm gonna get that little quad because I've been using this so much. That one seems like this neutral version of this. This is a little bit more pinky. So yeah, and again, it kind of fits into what I've been liking that like the small moments of luxury, the small pieces. So mm, I think it's up my alley. Let me know if you have it, what you think about it, if I should pick it up. Okay, so that was all of the like makeup makeup. Now onto other type of like beauty type stuff. I have to mention you guys, my body scrubs from Way. I know I have two. That's because I initially bought this one. This is just the original Way scalp and body scrub. And I didn't realize I wasn't getting the new one um, because I didn't really realize that they had this product before. But as you can tell, I've used like half of this up. I'm obsessed with the texture of this. This smells amazing also. It just smells like this really nice fancy, like, I don't know. Salon, I just love the smell of this. Anyway, this feels so nice on the skin. It's gritty without being too gritty. It's definitely not like you're putting sand on you or uh, a really heavy sugar scrub. But what I really think I like about it most is that it gives me this kind of softening feel without leaving me greasy afterwards. Like there's no grease, but I really do feel moisturized and I've just never experienced that with the scrub before. So uh, loving it, too expensive kind of. It's very expensive. So yeah, that price tag, it hurts. And I've then bought this one because one of you guys told me that this wasn't the new one. And I was like, wait, what? And then I was like, you're right. It's not. So I got the St. Bart's version, which is supposedly limited edition. We'll see what that means. Cause I really hope it's not because if I had to recommend you one scent over the other, this one is divine. And I think just for summer, it's been such a nice treat in the shower. It literally is something I look forward to in my shower. Oh, this smells good. Again, still like high class, but very beachy, like kind of coconutty, tropical, delicious. So good. There's something about this. I've smelled this smell before and I don't know what it is, but it just, it kind of gives me some weird nostalgia that I can't quite place in, in my head, but loving this. I still have quite a bit of this left, so I'm so excited. And it's definitely something that I would think of as a beautiful gift for someone. I would, yeah, like definitely gift someone that. I think that it makes for a really nice treat for myself. It's a product I put in a category that makes me not want to buy a million like body scrubs. Instead, I just want to buy this one. And not all body scrubs do that. Sometimes when I buy a lower priced item and I, I think it's okay, but maybe it's not my favorite. I'm still kind of like, oh, I want to try that one. I'll try that one. I'll buy this one. And so sometimes it's good for me to think about things like that because although I think this is like 34, maybe it's like 38. If at one time I have a backup of tons and tons of body scrubs because I bought one for $8 here and $10 here and $15 there, just kind of breaking that down, you know, breaking what that's about down. Enough about the scrubs, you've heard me talk about them. I have a hair thing I wanna mention, which I don't talk a ton about hair. I do a lot of the same stuff, but this is a newer thing for me. This is from IGK. It's the Beach Club Bouncy Blowout Cream. Now, 
I don't use this for blowouts. I realized when I, I put this in, I was like, oh, what's this called? And I was like, bouncy blowout cream. I do not use this to blow my hair out. I get out of the shower though. I let my hair air dry a little bit, not all the way. Maybe I've had it up in a towel and I've gotten ready or whatever. Then I put just a tiny dab, maybe like a dime size or a nickel, like in between that in my hair all throughout. Really just work it in there and I let my hair finish uh, just drying regularly. And I feel like the thing I like about this is it gives my hair some type of stuff in it because if not, I just have very thin, fine hair. It just has no texture, no grip, no anything. And I feel like by adding something, this gives me a little bit, but it doesn't weigh my hair down because that's another issue. If I put something that's too heavy in my hair, it will be weighed down. I won't get the volume I want. And lately, I just haven't really been blow drying my hair. I haven't felt the need to. I just, I like my hair when I wear it down, actually not blow dried. I don't know what's going on with that. So anyway, I just want to mention it. It smells amazing, but it's been this really nice, easy product. Again, it's one thing that works well. And then this with my dry shampoo that has some volume in it, I'm good to go for like multiple different days and hairstyles and whatnot. So that's really all I've been using. And I'm like the volume girl who has like 10 million products. So it's been like a bit of a change. I'm definitely, I don't know, on a little journey there. Had to throw this in, had to throw it in. This is the Dossier Woody Sandalwood. It smells like the Santal 33 Le Labo, whatever. You guys, this smells so good. I bought this at Black Friday and I'm almost done with it. So y'all know I like it. It's the one I've been bringing with me. I love the smell of this. I just think it smells so good. I mean, so many people do. It's a very popular scent. But if you're looking for a cheaper version, Dossier does have them and I've enjoyed it. I will say I will probably buy the original after I use this up only because I just enjoy having like the original like I don't know I just want it on my perfume and vanity it's an investment that I want to make and I'm willing to make and now that I've used up an entire bottle of like the kind of dupe fragrance I know it's something I like and so in that way, I'm more willing to spend the money on it. So just to let you guys know what I'm doing, but if that's not an option for you, you don't care about having the original, whatever the case is for you, just saying this one smells good. It's the one I've been using. So love, love, love that. We're getting close. I promise we're getting close. <laughs> I wanna mention some candles because y'all know I love candles. So I have to mention this one because Bath & Body Works has some of their fall candles out already, which gets me so excited for fall. We're in August already and I just this I know that 2020 was like the worst year ever but there's something about this scent that reminds me of 2020 but it's like positive memories I'm gonna cry so gotta keep it together okay but it, it gives me some positive memories of that time which I'm like how where but oh I love the scent anyway this is caramel pumpkin swirl I never used to be into scents like this but sometime last year I just like embraced it and I think I burned through like one or two of these last year. Now I already have one ready to go. I'm so excited. This immediately brings me to fall and just cozy and like our bean bag and fairy lights and you know, it's kind of cold out and maybe you're wearing a jacket and I just, I'm in love with it. Oh, it just brings like, it's immediately comforting to me. Luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, creamy vanilla and natural essential oils. <gasps> Oh, you guys, you don't even need to, to burn this. If you just had this next to you open, you can smell it. It's a very strong scent. I'm obsessed with it. Just wanted to bring it up because it's bringing me joy, making me excited. The other candle, can I do this? I don't know why I'm doing this um, while it's lit. Probably not a good move, but here we are. I got a forever mood, you guys. I got a forever mood candle. This is the caked up one. These candles are now at Sephora, so that's how I got to smell them. And I decided to go with this one. I really liked the scent. This one is kind of like a cakey bakery type scent too. Okay, let me put it back. It's really quite nice and again, comforting and sweet. It's, I think that one has like this almond to it, which I don't always love almond, like, cause to me almond smells like cherry and I don't always like that, but this one's really nice and I really enjoy it. But if you don't like sweet scents, you wouldn't, you wouldn't like that one. It's definitely more bakery-ish, but mm, it's so nice. Even though it's a one wick, I feel like it really does have some nice scent throw. It's a beautiful candle and it's just been something that's been on my list to try. And then when it was there, I loved that I could actually smell them in store. So I picked one up. I was really excited. That's Jackie Ina's brand if you guys don't know. So yeah, that's a favorite for sure. Can we finish this video? I hope so. Last couple of things.
things. I'm gonna run through them fast because I know I've just been talking your guys' ears off. You guys are earless now. I wanna mention some clothing favorites. I've been really back into my newly, which is that's how you say it. I always called it Nully, I think, before, but it's it's newly. <laughs> okay. Anyway, if you guys don't know, newly is a clothing subscription, and I started doing this like in 2020, I think at the beginning of the year, and then with everything going on and us not really leaving our houses, I stopped it, but I started it back one because I have like my own reasons doing YouTube and stuff. It's nice having different cute clothes that inspire me to make different eye looks. And I think they just look nice and it's a fun way to try new things without having to buy those things. But I also do like it for like going out to dinner or if you have something that is a bit more of a unique event, maybe something fancier than normal. I love that the subscription gives me the opportunity to try something or, or pre-plan that event and have some items to feel good in, but I don't have to specifically buy a whole new outfit for those events. I'm wearing something today. This one's like a really cute little like, um, kind of like a shift dress, I think is what this would be, but um, just cute. Probably not something I will keep actually, but how fun to be able to wear. So the service has straight sizes, but what I love obviously is that they have plus sizes. I know that not every, you know, brand or company has plus sizes and it's really awesome to be able to rent cute plus size stuff. Usually the stuff is quite expensive since it is like anthropology stuff, but I really love being able to try it and enjoy it for a moment and not have to own it. But if there is something I really truly like, I've really gotten the opportunity to try it, wear it in different situations, know how it clings, know how I rub, um, know all those little details that you can't really know about something if you just buy it. And I love that if it works and kind of passes all of those tests, I have a really good idea that this item's gonna work for me long term. So I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on it. Usually it is discounted since, you know, it's used already and I find that they're more quality pieces. So I've just really been enjoying it. I have been buying a few pieces here and there as I like add to my wardrobe, but I really feel like they're all pretty solid purchases and I love that. I don't know, I've just really been enjoying it. I also love using my outfits as inspiration and also just dressing up in a way for camera that maybe I didn't do before. I just wear like my black tees and um I don't know, I just like it. Anyway, I've really been enjoying the Newly. It is quite an expensive subscription. It's like 80 something dollars a month plus tax, mine's in the 90s, to rent six pieces of clothing. But for me and like for all these reasons I've, I've laid out, I've really been enjoying it. And I'm glad I started it back up again. It's brought me a lot of joy. And as I've been able to do a few more things, I do feel like pretty confident and that's important. Like, you know, going back into the world, being more confident in the clothing that I'm wearing. So although with the Delta, it's a little dicey right now. So anyway, anyway, not getting into that. It's a favorites video. That being said, I also wanted to mention parade underwear. You guys, I saw parade underwear being advertised to me on Instagram and I went for it because again, I the reason I wanna bring up plus size stuff and talk about clothing is because I know for other people who are plus size or fat or just bigger, it can be difficult to find clothing and to kind of have those same normal options that other people have. So I just feel like these things have really worked for me and I've also suggested it to my friends who aren't plus size and they've enjoyed it as well. So anyway, I just, if I could help you out, if you are have the means and you're looking for it, just haven't found it yet, I'm hoping that maybe this can help you. But parade underwear, back to the underwear. First off, I don't enjoy buying underwear because um, it's just like a basic to me. It's such a basic product that I don't think about it. And I let myself use my underwear way too long where I don't, I'm not realizing it, but I feel gross in them, right? So I bought some stuff from Parade and I'm obsessed with it. I bought my stuff in the 3X. They have so many different styles and cuts, lots of like high rises, which I really enjoy because that is more like the more modern silhouette. And I feel like a lot of my clothing all also works well with that, but just the feeling of these underwear on me, I feel cute. I feel, uh, it doesn't have to be super sexy. Like I'm not talking about like lingerie here, but I feel sexy just under normal stuff for myself, just feeling my own self. So if you're looking for some new underwear to try, I really do suggest the parade stuff. I feel like the price was reasonable. I don't know what the price of underwear are, honestly, what normal underwear are. Again, being plus size, I was buying my underwear from Lane Bryant before this, which usually that would be like, I don't know, five bucks a piece if you do a deal, if they're on a deal, but then you only have whatever's there and I don't know. 
Anyway, I'm really into it. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. If you've been seeing the ads like I did, I highly suggest them. And I will say, I've tried the Savage Fenty stuff. Don't skip skip it skip it okay don't do it some of it's okay but i just i can't recommend compared to the parade i just feel like size wise they're actually the size that they should be i feel like there's a lot more wiggle room in the sizing they feel nicer better quality some of the stuff i've gotten from fenty is just like feels like plastic bags doesn't have the stretch the size 3x between all the different cuts is like completely different anyway I digress. Just if you're looking for underwear, try out Parade. I want to try out the bras as well, but I haven't been able to do that yet. Lots of stuff is sold out that I, I want to try. So let me know your review of the bras if you've tried them. Also, if you've tried any of this stuff that I've mentioned and you want to like add something maybe I forgot or something that you've noticed with it, something positive, maybe something critical, put that down in the comments too. I love having all that information so people can make the best decision for them as possible so they have the highest chance of liking whatever it is that they go try. Okay, last thing, media. I'm just gonna mention that I've been loving Oliver Tree uh, music <laughs> lately, kind of angsty, and I've just been obsessed with it. So I'm gonna leave you off on that note. If you haven't listened to him, you can watch some of his music videos here on YouTube. YouTube, or you can go check out Spotify or wherever you listen to music, type in Oliver Tree. I hope you enjoy. I really like the song, Let Me Down. I really like the song, Cash Machine. I really like the song, probably my favorite at the moment is Life Goes On. So yeah, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for hanging out with me and letting me gab on and on about the stuff that I love. I really hope that if you were looking for anything in these categories, maybe these can be some things to keep in the back of your mind. Maybe look out for a sale, maybe just buy now if you want to do it. Or if you're on a no-buy, you don't need any of it. I don't know. I'll just say that here. You don't need any of this stuff. I know I just raved and I'm sure it got exciting because I am excited about it, but you also don't need it. And I hope you could just enjoy maybe hanging out with me. I'm going to end it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys so much. I really hope favorite of mine also, because I can't end a video. Just being aware of your mental health and just like taking care of yourself as best you can with your circumstances. I know it's not always easy. I know it's not always hard and everyone's situation is so different, but damn, I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. I wish that for you. I hope that for you. I hope you're giving yourself the tough love that you need, the tough self-love that you need, the real self-love that you need, because it feels so good and nothing can replace it and things don't matter. Okay, bye.